Now, the loss of Ghana permits the National Road Safety Authority and the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority to step in and take action that could save lives and ensure discipline on our roads. But in the northern region, officials from these two authorities are unable to execute their mandate due to alleged interference from some traditional rulers there. Said Kwame Boateng was in Tamale and report that miners have taken advantage of this and are riding in blatant disregard for road traffic rules. Yes, miners are riding. It's a big danger and an offense in the road traffic regulations. Dr. Tolo Yampab, orthopedic surgeon at the Tamale Teaching Hospital, has noticed this danger. And in Tamale here, you see somebody five year old, six year old, riding a motorbike. So this is a very dangerous thing, <laughs> you see, and they don't they don't respect the the the, the road uh, regulation, so they do what they want to do. They travel, they go, you see, they are overtaking, you know, they, and they are taking both sides, left, right, left, right. So if you are telling you don't pay attention, you knock somebody because he want to take it that side, and normally you are not supposed to do that. They are unauthorized to even ride, as emphasized by Frank Gassese the Northern Regional Boss of the Driver Vehicle and Licensing Authority. It is very difficult to enforce the law. You try to stop them, then you, you are seen as somebody who is harassing people. So at times some of us will get confused about the meaning of the word harassment. If somebody is trying to let you do the right thing, it will, will be termed as harassment, then I, I, I don't know. But that, that, is, that is the situation. So. It is difficult. As if this is not enough, almost half of all motorbikes on the roads in the northern region are not registered. This has far-reaching implications. Supposing I'm using a motorbike which is not registered and I knock a, a school child down. So how am I going to be identifying a runaway? Meanwhile, people were there to be able to know that they, it was this number that they saw. But because the motor is not registered, they can say it was a blue absonic motorbike. Blue absonic motorbikes are many in the system. How can they know that it is this particular blue absonic motorbike that knocked the school child down? The head of the National Road Safety Authority here, Alexander Ayata, confirms how difficult it is for them to ensure compliance on the road. Enforcement is not done here. It cannot be done here. I've led it, we have arrested motors upon motors, but they were released because of our penal leaders. And now that, of course, we have had the Yana being our uh, uh, road safety ambassador, he must intervene. So that anybody who is arrested, nobody, no chief, no imam, no priest, no pastor, should call the police to say, please release A and B. We must allow them to do the right thing. It's because of the, the, the interference and the lack of effective, continuous enforcement that allows people to ride motors without numbers, without, what have you. For him, this must not continue if indeed political and traditional heads in the northern region prioritize road safety. It's against the law for us to see them and allow them go. It means that we are condoning and conniving the breakage of the law. Yeah. And we must rise up as a people. It, however, appears these interferences would soon be a thing of the past, especially under the current regional minister, Alhaji Shani Alhassan Shaibu. He is a soft spoken man, but when he wears his disciplinarian garment, he is a totally different person. I had Brexit meeting today, and it was one of the issues that we discussed. It came up strongly, but I told them that, look, uh, this was something new that I wanted to embark on. And they should count on me. As a political head of the region, the calls, the meetings would come, would end up on my table. And I do not think that I'm going to condone that. Once I want to succeed in clearing the roads, making the town clean and more travel, those calls will be ignored. If this regional minister is able to walk the talk, roads in the northern region would be safer. This is Seth Kwame Boateng for Joy News. And that ends the news for now. There will be plenty more in the newspaper. So wait for it. Stay with us here on the AM Show. We will review the newspapers next.